Hey there, Tano. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today we're going to be doing an on-the-spot review of the Aquilex Prime. Now, the Aquilex Prime just came out with Barrow's recent visit today, and he currently carries the only relics that are known to drop the Link and the Blueprint, which are these Axie A2 relics, which unfortunately also have the ability to troll you with that unfortunate form of blueprint. I picked up five of these when he came out, and as you can see, I am down to two. The last two that I ran, I got both the blueprint and the link. The first one, unfortunately, I got a forma because the servers were a little overloaded at the moment. And the reward screen actually froze on me and the squad that I was with. Now, compared to the basic Oclex, the stats are practically doubled. You have an additional 10% status, an additional 4 rounds in your magazine, a .67 increase in your fire rate, an additional f and an additional 5% critical chance. Now, Coloring your now, if you're coloring your Oclex, as you can see, outer shell is your primary. That undertone is your secondary. Tertiary controls the inlet lines, the safety switch, and the top part of your of your uh, slide itself. Accents are obviously all of the metallic bits, and you know what your energy color does. So there's really no point to me actually showing you all that. This is what mine looks like set up with my Banshee Prime. Or, not, ah, my bad. Banshee Prime is not out yet. Do not take that. That is not canon. That is not official. That is just a normal Banshee. I'm just getting a little ahead of myself. Now, you can obviously run this two different ways. You can either do high fire rate for close range, or high damage for long range. As you can see, I have a little over 1500 puncture damage with 343 cold damage, so I'm clearly going to go for a status build, possibly throw some critical chance on there later on, I don't know yet. That will happen once I can actually invest some time into this. Anyway... Let's get into mission and show you guys how it performs. Hopefully, nope, nobody is running Ophelia. Which is, or Tycho. So, unfortunately, shit. I'm probably going to have to run. Yep, I will just jump on Annie and we will go from there. Now, I'm only going to stay a maximum of 10 minutes. I'm not here for the Wards. I'm only here to show off a weapon to you guys. Oh, wait, that's my sniper drum man. I do have very bad aim, so if you see me getting close, it's for good reason. Silence going. Life support has been replenished. Another life support capsule is now available. Uh, okay, guys, so my Orvius went behind me instead of going the way I wanted it to throw. Okay, so we've got a guy in here close to the mic. Awesome. Hello. 
prepare for life support. And as you guys heard, he's currently playing around with the Orcus. I would highly recommend you put something on this whenever you get a hold of it yourselves for the fire rate because it is absolutely atrocious. But as far as as you know, there aren't a whole lot of high damage secondary uh, weapons. So whenever capsule. you do find one that does a very decent amount of damage, it's a blessing. Which is why you can de deal with investing the time into it, like you do with the pre like anyone's done with the previous iterations of the Lex. Extraction is available if you need it. The operative has just made their first discovery. Keep up the good work. Of course, as you can also see, even though these are low-level enemies, this hits like a truck. Ooh, hello. You're not sneaking up on me. And I know I'm switching over to melee, too, but sometimes that's just to get some of the enemies off because they're, as you can see, very high Life cluster of enemies, incoming. and I am leveling everything that I have to do. Okay, no, stop. Don't try to cast uh, silence in midair. Support has arrived. Uh, my reader residents were off already. Oh, they have control of it. Okay. stay in there. Oh, that's a Nyx. That's a Nyx. That is good. As you can see, I am very close to dying. I'm not being anywhere near as safe as I should be right now. Additional life support. All right, shoot run. me. There we go. I'm moving to the next pod. Activating. That should keep you going for a while. It's gonna be safer for me if I just move them right now. Get ready for a capsule. Mid range 
sniper. Thank you. So to speak. Mostly just because I can't aim for shit. The only weapons I'm even remotely decent with aiming are any sort of bow and arrow. But we aren't here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the Aquas. So they handle really nice. As you can see, the fire rate is actually not there as bad as, as you're led to believe from just looking at the stats. Because as you know from before, the Lex, the Lex and the Oxlex all have a relatively low fire rate. The longer you fight, but it does hit like a truck. Anyway, if that is the 10th minute mark, therefore that is my cue to fail. So I am out. But it handles a lot better than your than just looking at the stats lead you to So it'll it will handle a lot nicer Excellent than comments. you would think when you can actually Covered invest the time and get safe and sound. a couple of forma mm -hmm. put into it. Honestly, the way it's looking for the build that I'm gonna go, I'm probably gonna have to put at least four into this. And I can already tell right off the bat, I'm probably going to be doing two Vs and probably two dashes because I'm going to go for blast damage for my first status build with this. In which case, I am throwing uh, Primed Heat at charge when I get around to it. And as you can see, that is one point away from max, so at max it takes up 16 capacity. I'm not throwing that on there without having a dash polarity in. But anyway, that has been my on-the-spot review of the Aquilex Prime. If you liked my video, go ahead and click that like button, click subscri and subscribe. If you'd like to know whenever I upload a video, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. And although it is not necessary, if you would like to support me, feel free to check out my Patreon page. There is a link to it on my channel page itself. The support is not needed, but is greatly appreciated as you're helping me stay up to date with all of the new gear and Warframes that are released as I have to pay out of pocket because I do not have a partnership with Digital Extremes. Until next time, Tenno, this is Shadow Scythe, signing off.